time and place. That's a lot of the theme for my whole photography style. It's just a small snippet of just where I've been. How I've worked it out, it's like an equation. Everyone sees the answer where I like to show the working. My name's Brendan Kitto and I'm a photographer. I first started in the mid 90s uh, through skateboarding. My friend was into video production, so I wanted to document me and my friend skating, so I saved up and purchased a video camera. Getting the camera was hard enough, and then saving up for editing equipment and computers was three times the cost of a camera, and back in the 90s, $6,000 isn't going to happen for a 17 year old kid, so that slowly died out, and then early 2000s is when I first purchased a SLR camera. When I started taking photos, I was interested in the candid side of what was going on. Just getting an outtake from a different perspective as everyone else, as they were always trying to get the, the main shot, where I'd like just hang back and like fly on the wall and just watch. I recently had a show at Studio 40, it was named Snapshot. It was just a small retrospective of photos that I've taken over the last few years a range of things that I've worked on, traveling around the country to a lot of the festivals, the uh, street art festivals that have been happening. There were two photos that I had a strong connection with and they were the one of my friend Gary painting the sideway cross in a tunnel in New Plymouth. It's kind of taken off in a different direction of how I saw the photo as he was my graffiti partner for a number of years. So we went to New Plymouth and he was keen to do a track side. How I saw it was just Gary and I again walking the track, just doing some graffiti. But others have seen it in a different way, which is pretty cool. And there was another one of my friend sitting in his kitchen with his face covered, fire extinguisher, fish, bread, butter, and his everyday environment, but just with a covering their face, which everyone thought it was just people robbing houses. And just the way people read into it was quite funny as they just don't know that they're just normal people who have proper jobs and working really hard in the field they do. One photo that I thought was going to be the most popular on the night that had the most likes on social media was totally opposite. It's one of the ones yeah that people kind of just walk past and one of the ones that I thought no one would understand was the one that sold out so you just never know. I carry about five bodies when I'm normally out, so the digital will have a, a wide lens on it, medium format will have a 50mm or a 135 for portrait, then I'll have one film body with black and white, one film body with colour, and another film body with a wide angle lens on it. I'm typically shooting film, I just like it, just the whole process. Majority is black and white, which then I can develop myself, so I've got that control and I can say that I've done 90% of the work. I used to be a prolific, just shoot anything, then shooting film, that kind of chews up your money. So I've slowed down and just shoot what I want, instead of just shooting anything and everything. I enjoy getting one good photo than a roll of rubbish. And my photos do lack people. One of my photos are, yeah, empty space. I guess of where people were or have been so some of them or a lot of them will be post people where they've been done something and gone another thing is shooting people is quite hard i don't like approaching people they don't act naturally when you ask can i take a photo i prefer if i do have shots of people it's just kind of without them knowing what I'm looking for is that shot where you would see everyone with a camera in front of a subject and you'll see no one else to the left or the right or behind. So that's my angle on it, just trying to get something different. Everyone seems to take the same shot, especially with graffiti, so I document a lot of that because that was my background. When I'd paint graffiti, the camera would only come out when you finished. There'd be nothing else from when you started painting in the middle or what's happening around you. So when I just started concentrating on photography, I started just looking at that angle instead of just the finished work after eight hours. I guess it's like my graffiti. I approach it like a stamp that I've been here. And so people can look at something and enjoy it easily. The same with my photos. It's just some nice frame 
composed that people will look at and I guess gather information quickly than just trying to look at every detail to try and find out what it is. The role of the photographer is to tell a story. I guess this is how people interpret the story. You just have to accept other people's interpretations. You can't force your story onto others. I think it's just cool just to let it just to let it go and let everyone make their story. So they say a picture is worth a thousand words, but from what I've learned it's also worth a thousand stories.